Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great back row bargain from Parkway RV Center. I haven't done one of these in a while because we've been pretty fortunate on our trades. You see, we trade, we, we, buy, we sell about two to 300 RVs a year sight unseen, and of course, we trade a lot sight unseen, and people are normally really honest about the condition of their trade-in, but every once in a blue moon, we'll get one that we traded for sight unseen that isn't in the condition that it was portrayed to be. And this is just one of those circumstances right here. That's why I'm selling this one right here. Uh, this unit, if it was cleaned up, guaranteed ready to go, would bring 29.9 in a heartbeat. But when it came in, needs a few little things that I'm gonna point out. And so we're just gonna mark it as is. You know, you can fix this thing up for a couple of grand and probably and make several thousand dollars on it if you wanted to resell it or get in a lot newer and a nicer fifth wheel than you could normally afford for this price. It's only 19.9, but that is as is. The only thing I will show you that works is the refrigerator and the roof air. Everything else is as is, hooked to your vehicle and go. It's a 2011 Heartland Elk Ridge. This is the 35SQ, SKSQ. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom, four slide fifth wheel. Lot of fifth wheel for the money and it's really not that bad. It needs a good cleanup. Um, it's got the gooseneck adapter on the front, so you have to make sure your truck's got a gooseneck ball. Or if you've got a fifth wheel hitch, they make a little adapter plate for a couple hundred bucks that you can tow a gooseneck with. Or we can deliver. We do offer nationwide delivery. You know, all in all, this this is actually a, not a bad fifth wheel. It needs a few things. Um, and I'm just going to go over it with you, show you the good, the bad that I see. Of course, you know, like I said, it's as is, so I haven't plugged it up. I haven't tried the plumbing or propane or any of that, but uh, I'll show you what I see, and you can be your own judge. I mean, this thing's almost half a book value, and it's about $60,000 new. Uh, but notice right off the bat, they at one time or another, has had a blowout. They blew the fender skirt off. You can buy those online pretty reasonable. I don't see any delamination. The stripes and finish look good. You know, this came out of northern Tennessee, so it's not been up north or down in Florida or any of that stuff. Still got the Tennessee tag on it. Got a little, little bit of separation right there. Nothing real bad. You know, if you're going to park this somewhere, I wouldn't even worry about fixing that. Four slides. Weighs about 12,000 pounds, so you want to make sure you've got a healthy truck to handle this. It's 38 and a half foot. Might as well say 39 feet long. It's got a power patio awning. And like I said, this is a big fifth wheel for this kind of money. It's got the alloy wheels, which I'll show you on the other side, a little bit easier to see. Got the bigger 10 gallon water heater. And like I said, folks, at this price, I'm losing money. But this is springtime. If this was winter or a slower time of year, I would definitely take this to the back, let my RV techs completely recondition it, and sell it for $29.9 really quickly. But right now, I've got so many RVs sold waiting to be serviced. I just don't have the manpower or the time, so I'm just going to cut it out at a loss, get rid of it, clear up the room on the lot, and let somebody get an incredible value for a 2011 Heartland. You look online, other dealers are uh, asking twenty eight grand to $40,000 for this same make and model fifth wheel. So I'll be honest with you, there's no way you can spend more than a couple of grand on this thing, recondition it, and be in this thing where you could turn around and make several thousand dollars on it if you wanted to. QSQB. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to tell you, all in all, the inside's really solid. The floor solid. roof solid. Got a great floor plan. You know, all the TVs are in it. Um, it's got a sleeper sofa. It's got a table booth that makes a bed. All the appliances are here. You know, it needs a good cleanup. 
Um, got the nice countertop, CLP stovetop and oven, the microwave, the two-way RV refrigerator freezer. I'll show you this works like it's supposed to, and I'll show you both the air conditioners work. It's got two roof airs. Uh, one thing now, folks, the people didn't tell me, but the bottom unit was missing out of the main air, which I've got one ordered and I'm going to put in it. So it's going to have a, a bottom unit for the air. We're going to make sure it works. So don't worry about that. That's included with the 19.9 price. Two bedroom, two bathroom. Got a ceiling fan. We'll just start here in the uh, bunk room. And this is really kind of cool. Um, needs a, this door right here needs to be, looks like somebody's knocked the door frame loose, which is no big deal. That's a trip to Lowe's and, and a hammer and nails can fix that in about 20 minutes. I love this rear bedroom, folks. It's got two opposing slide outs. You've got two, and these are the big double bunks. These aren't the little bunks. You've got three bunks, actually. You've got a removable table right here, and this couch makes a bed. So you can sleep three, four, five kids in here if you wanted to. Fantastic vent fan. Uh, and here is a second bathroom, which is really cool. Huh? I'm going to tell you, with kids, you can't ever have too many bathrooms. And what's neat about it, you've got your RV toilet, and that is the Upgrade Shine RV toilet. You've got the sink, nice tall roof, and then you got your own outside entry door for the bathroom. And the, and the reason behind that is, you know, kids go to the bathroom a lot. That's just a fact of life. And this way, if they just need to go to the bathroom and they've got mud on their feet or sand, they don't have to wipe off their feet and try or track everything through the camper, they can just go right in this door right here, use the bathroom, go right back out it. Easy as that. The unit's got a furnace. It's got a stereo system. I mean, everything's here. It and and you know, I'm I'm just guessing, but I'm sure that just about everything works. I'm not guaranteeing it anyway, but like I said, everything structurally is fine. There is a little bit. And I, I'm, I'm just being honest with you because I don't like surprises any more than you do. It's got a little bit of swelling right here, a little bit of damage. Uh, but other than that, that's the only really bad spot that I see inside. You know, and that right there is, I mean, if that doesn't bother you, especially for what you're buying this for, I wouldn't even mess with fixing that. Let's go up here. And it's got a walkthrough bathroom. And again, the floor solid, which is the main thing. The roof looks good. Uh, you've got a glassed-in shower. Of course, it needs cleaned up, of course. Skylight, you can look around it. I don't see any leaks around that. Uh, again, upgrade porcelain, RV toilet, medicine cabinet, sink vanity area here's your second air conditioner uh here in the uh, here in the front you've got a queen island bed and this is some kind of memory foam let me see if i can get this sheet off here pretty it's like a memory foam material so that's that's a nice little feature um at the foot of the bed you've got all this storage you've got another tv in here closet across the front And looking in the closet, I don't see any damage or any leak damage, anything like that. You know, this is a solid fifth wheel for the money, folks. And you can look at the NADA on it. You're going to see this thing is so far under book. It's crazy. And you're going to have to spend a little bit of money on it. But you look at what you're getting for what you're paying. Now, if you can't buy one like this, I have a ton of fifth wheels. Uh, checked out, guaranteed, ready to go. We go through a 138-point inspection on our regular retail fifth wheels. But this one right here, we're wholesaling out for $19.9. And you can pull any book value you want. This thing is so far under book, it's crazy. Uh, like right here, folks. No add-ons. Elk Ridge, fifth wheel, 35 QS QB. No add-ons. Average retail, 32.8. Low retail, $27,250. I'm under $20,000. You add for a few of the options, you're at $37,000. Again, $19,900 as is. 
I'll show you the air conditioner and the refrigerator works, which are the two major things on any RV. The rest of it, folks, if you're a handyman or a handy woman, this is something that you can fix yourself and literally save about $10,000 off buying one that's ready to go. 19.9 as is will trade financing is available with approved credit we can get you a 3% interest rate on 60 months get you extended terms up to 144 months with approved credit only of course we do offer delivery even though it's an as is unit folks we'll still deliver this RV to you this, this fifth wheel uh, just contact my salespeople and tell them where you want it delivered to your zip code They'll figure up mileage and give you a price. You know, if you want to set one up on a permanent lot, this is a well-insulated model. It'd be perfect for year-round use. And I don't see anything in it that would prevent you from using it just like it sits right now. Um, so if you just want something to live in or something to put a family in, to work on it a little bit while they're living in it, this one right here would be ideal for that. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. This is a 2011 Elk Ridge as is. $37,000 book value for $19.9. I mean, I promise you folks, you can look far and wide over the internet. You're not going to find another 11 Elk Ridge anywhere near this price. Nowhere near it. And like I said, I'm going to put a new bottom unit on. I'm going to make sure both airs work. I'm going to make sure that refrigerator works on gas and electric. So don't worry about that. The major expensive stuff is going to be checked. You may have to replace uh, uh, some trim around a door or a light or two or some bulbs or something like that. But, I, you know, for what you're buying it for, there's no way in the world you can complain. Uh, this unit right here is, is going on eBay. It's going on about 20 different websites as is. It's going to sell because somebody looking for a bargain that's looking at uh, 2001 models and 2002 models for 19.9, and that's only they can move up to an 11 model for the same price, they're going to jump all over this. You know, this is just one of those weird deals that we got into and... The people trade it in, and that's why it's so hard to get from individuals, folks. I mean, our RVs are just how we portray them, but people trade these things in. They, they, I don't know. I just, people just don't, I, you know, life would be so much easier if everybody just tell the truth, especially doing business. And, you know, we've been doing this for 48 years. I've got hundreds of positive feedbacks on eBay. I'm a top rated seller selling used RVs. I've got dozens of positive customer testimonials on Google Plus because I tell the truth, folks. We tell the truth. We've been doing this 48 years. We sell 500 RVs a year. There's no reason to risk our hard-earned reputation just to sell a 2011 Elk Ridge fifth wheel or 100 2011 Elk Ridge fifth wheels. You know, it's it's everything I said it is. Uh, when you compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges, you're going to see that this right here is a heck of a buy for somebody. Literally, you can fix this thing up and make you several thousand dollars on it if you wanted to. We just don't have time, folks. We've got 30 RVs in line at the shop that are bought and paid for waiting to be checked out. So I, there's no way in the world that I could get this unit back on like it's supposed to be up to our standards without tying up my guys for a while and just can't do it right now. I mean, literally, this is a 29.9 unit if it was just in perfect condition, but... It's 19.9. Just take it as it is. Save the money. Do the work yourself, and uh, you know, reap the rewards. Just give us a call: 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays only. Please call 423-605-6747. You can, uh, of course, got the power awning too. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. And you're welcome to call, make an appointment to come look at this camper in person if you want to. Just give us a day or two notice. Call one of our non-commissioned salespeople, make an appointment. And they'll spend time with you, go over this thing with you. Uh, so you can kind of see it for yourself. Got 150 used RVs in stock. I don't get many of these as-is units. I try to only get the best out here, but sometimes 
one like this comes in it kind of slips through the cracks so to speak because somebody wasn't honest but you know my loss is your gain 19.9 will trade lowest price for a 2011 elk ridge 35 qsqb on the internet by thousands you can quote me on that you know you're going to save money we don't have extra fees we don't we have low interest rates because we don't mark interest rates up like other dealers do no commission sales people no sales pressure keep in mind this unit's going to be seen by hundreds of people in the next 24 hours on the internet somebody's going to buy it and we do offer nationwide delivery you just pay whatever it costs us to bring it to you get my driver back home not a dime more thank you for watching my video don't let this one get away this is really a chance of a lifetime it, it's going to be another six or seven years before you see 2011 elk ridges this cheap again so thank you for watching my video hope to see you soon here in beautiful ringgold georgia